This video will demonstrate the uh, construction phase of the mechanical housing for the internal optical hi-hat controller uh, for an electronic drum set. This is an experimental project gained from information off of Megadrum and off of the V-Drums website. The first portion I have is an outer sleeve made from a coupler, PVC pipe coupler, a metal plate on the bottom with a hole drilled in it to fit around the bushing at the base of the hi-hat. This is the first part that gets laid over the post in, in the mounting procedure. A slot was cut in this sleeve with a hacksaw. The slot on the other side is just residual from trying to cut this sleeve here. This slot is the one where the flag will ride up and down in and that flag is what will interrupt the electronic light beam after that circuit is mounted across here. So this first portion gets mounted on here. We drop that down on the hi-hat. It fits down around the hi-hat bushing and sits in place. In order to keep it from moving out of position, I have a foam cushion washer. I just cut out of a section of foam. It's soft. It will lay down in there with a washer over it ensuring that this stays in place. So that gets dropped in over the section next. That foam piece uh, will have a washer laid over it. And that's to cushion and protect the foam from the spring. So there's my washer in place. The spring will do two things. It will keep this outer sleeve down and it will also push up the inner sleeve. we will just push that down into place now. And that we, that's how we have that section. The last important section is the inner sleeve cut from a smaller section of tubing that fits loosely inside the outer sleeve. This groove cut for the flag is where this flag will pass through. The flag is mounted so that the inside of this, this tube is clear and the spring will fit inside of here. The top has a washer glued to it with a hole that fits the post, the rod for the hi-hat symbol. So, we take this, set it down over the hi-hat. We see it's a nice, comfortable, easy fit. It drops over the spring, and we align the flag into the groove. As the hi-hat is closed, it will push down. The spring pushes it up. To illustrate that, we install the hi-hat symbol. In this case, the um, higher quality Acme symbol with the hi-hat clutch. And now with that attention on, and we step on the pedal, we see the flag going up and down. And this is inside the hi-hat assembly. The light beam would be laying across here, shooting across this way, from here to here. And as the flag comes down, it cuts that beam and progressively cuts more and more of the beam as the hi-hat goes up and down. To protect against overriding it, if I press far enough, this inner sleeve bottoms out down here and takes all the force. The flag is just free riding, does not press against the end, and is also not pressed against by the clutch mechanism itself. And that concludes this portion.